The Gumroad version of this series just got updated to include a 3D modeling guide PDF. Not only does it include this guide, but it also includes our final Love Chan model that we'll create in this series, downloadable videos, a short video series that introduces you to the fundamentals of using Blender, and more. The price of the Gumroad version will increase after this series is completed in full, so if you want the absolute best value on it, tap that link below today. So now let's model her hair. And this is definitely where a lot of people can get stuck and frustrated, but don't worry, we are going to be doing this in a way that is as simple as it possibly can be. We're gonna split this into chunks and we're going to be making sure that we're looking at lots of references, um, which helps with hair so much. So if you're trying to make your character's hair and you're getting stuck, one, that's totally normal. Two, make sure to be looking at 2D references, look at 3D references, how other people build out their hair topology and all that stuff. And make sure to split your hair into chunks, right? Like, this is the hair we're gonna be making today. Uh, this is what it looks like in 3D. And notice how, you know, this is a chunk of hair. We'll even hide the face here. This is a chunk of hair. This is a chunk of hair. This is a chunk of hair. And we're going to model our hair in a way that this is going to be symmetrical, so we only have to model half of this. This is gonna be symmetrical, so we only have to model half of this. Only this part, after we're done modeling it, will be asymmetrical, so we'll have to model this after we apply our mirror modifier, right? But it's not too, too complicated, really. There's pretty few triangles on this total, and we're going to start by modeling this right here, which is going to be the top cap of her head, and her hair, rather. So let's get started here. So first, let's start by spawning in a cube. So press shift plus A, mesh, cube, tab to enter edit mode, S to scale it down, GZ to move it up. And the first thing I'm gonna do is actually delete this bottom face. So I'm gonna go to face select by pressing three. I'm gonna turn on screencast keys because it's off. <laughs> so now you can see the keys I'm pressing. Now I'm gonna press delete right here, faces. And there we go. So now I'm going to go into the side view. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go to the front view here and go to loop cut and add a loop cut in our cube right here, like so. Now that we have this loop cut in the center of our model, all we wanna do is go to select box, then face select, alt C to make this transparent, go to front view and delete half of these faces. Then add a mirror modifier. There we go. Let's alt C again to Put that back to normal. Then I am going to want to look at my reference again and see how this is actually set up. And we can see that this essentially, it's weird to think about, this is a box shape. And there's this line of edges here that's slightly raised in the center that goes down towards the right side here. And you know, you can think of this as being one plane this is being one plane, this is being a plane, this is being a plane. So we're gonna do the same thing here, right? So to do that, I am going to add a loop cut right here. Press enter to confirm. And I think we'll leave it like that for, no, we'll, we'll, we'll do a loop cut here. So we'll do a loop cut uh, right here and a loop cut along this part of the box as well. Plus select box, go back to the select box tool and press alt A. Deselect all, then I'm going to go to select vert by clicking right there and shift click these top three verts, press G, Z to move them down. Then I'll select these verts, G, Y to move them in. Select these, G, Y to move them in. Then I will do this. Now let's just go to the side view now and then press Alt Z. So. Now we actually wanna line up our cube with the hair, right? So I'm gonna select all by pressing A, then I'm gonna press G to move this down. Then I'm gonna select this front vert here. Uh, press G to move it down. Select this vert, G to move it down. Select this vert, G to move it over. And I'm kinda of just gonna look at my reference here and try to line up the way I built this out. So this is again why references are so incredibly valuable. Uh, so, and as I can see here, there's these top faces here, top face, top face, and I kind of just need to align my box like this, right? So by looking at these two and comparing them, I can see that this should be up more, this should be going down. Let's kind of line up the reference a little bit more. 
Oop. Both of these up, actually. This up. Move this up. Maybe even over? We'll see about that. Press Alt-C to see what this is actually looking like here. Actually move this over with GY. Very good. Looking nice. Move this over. Put this in. And kind of just go by what you're seeing here. Don't feel like you need to follow me perfectly. This is just one way of doing it. This is not the definitive way of doing this. I'll press GY to move that in. All right, that's looking pretty good. G, 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 just moving things around like so. And now this is kind of already looking just like our hair uh, does in our reference, which is really awesome. I'll move this up a little. Kind of just eyeballing this. I'm just going by vibe. Kind of see how this will look. Get the flow right. So that's about it, really. That is the top of our head. I'm going to go to the front view here. Um, oh, I've, I made a mistake. I spoke too soon. <laughs> so there's one other issue here. And if we go to the top view here, you can see this is like a totally flat plane, which we don't want. We want to move these in. So. Uh, and then you can see by looking at the front view of our head here, these are these verts are kind of moved in and can't to the side like this. Uh, so if we go to the top view, you can see that's like, you know, it's moved in a little bit, so it's not perfectly flat there. So I'm gonna go to the front view and compare both front views and move this in, move this in, move this in, move this out, move this out, move this out. Move this out, move this out, move this up a little, the back, and go to the back view in our 3D reference, like so, just to see what that's looking like, which seems to be canted down a little bit like that. So go back to orthographic view by clicking right, oops, clicking right here, trying to line it up a little bit. This is our back view. It's a little confusing because our reference isn't getting flipped there. <laughs> But trust me, this is the back view. And just move this out, move this out a bit. So it kind of lines up with our reference. And this is me looking at my own reference, but you can be using any reference you found online or on the 3D Models resource website. Uh, anything at all is super, super valuable to have when it comes to bottling hair in particular, because it can be very challenging. So go to the front view on both of these, and I can see right now that these are looking pretty gosh darn similar, which is awesome. I'll move this down a little bit. And that is the top of the hair. So as you actually might have noticed, we go to our front view and press Alt-Z. You're gonna see that the bottom of our hair here actually should be ending about right here, but it's ending right here because this is where the bang should be starting. So we're gonna fix that, just a little proportional error by going to vert select right here, box selecting all these verts and pressing G plus Z to just move them up about right here, we'll say. Then we'll press, uh, just box like these, move them in. And we'll just kind of just line this up with our reference a little bit more. So box select, box select, box select, like so. Alt Z to confirm. And that's looking pretty good. That's good enough for now. Now we're gonna want to model her bangs. So to do that, we actually wanna merge both of these models together so that we can actually do this in a clean way. And to join two models together in Blender, all you have to do is click on one in object mode, then shift click on the other, and press Control plus J for join. So to join two objects in Blender, click on one, shift click the other, Control plus J. Now this is one model, which is really useful for our purposes here. So I'm gonna go to the front view, pressing numpad one, enter mode, press enter to go into edit mode. Then we're gonna go to vertex select and I'm actually gonna move these up a little bit. So that's kind of, because uh, I, I noticed these are a bit low uh, and should for topology purposes be a little bit higher. So I'm gonna click on both of these verts, press G plus Z to move them up. I'm gonna come out of my camera view here and collect these two verts. Just one, then Alt Z so I can see what I'm doing. Then press G plus Z, just move them up Kind of about right here, and you can see to move that down a little bit, like so. 
that's a lot better. So then I'm gonna press Alt Z to get out of X-ray view. Press one to go to the front view. Now I'm going to model in our bangs. So to do that, all I need to do is press two to go into edge select. Then I wanna click on this edge right here. I want to shift click this edge right here. And then I'm gonna press E to extrude these edges out and create some new faces here. Then I'm gonna to go to the side view by pressing three and just move these forward a little bit. And go back to the front view by pressing one. I'm gonna click on this edge right here. Press E to extrude out, then M to merge at center. Press one to go to vertex select. Then kind of move this around, move this down a little bit. Give that some more character, move this over here. And I'm gonna press Alt Z. And I actually don't need both of these verts here, I only need one. So I'm gonna click on this vert, then a shift click on this vert, press M to merge at last. There we go. It's looking pretty nice indeed, looking pretty cool. So the only other thing I wanna to do to our bangs here is add some volume over here. So I'll press Alt Z to get out of x-ray view here. Now I am going to, I'm gonna notice something important here, which is that these two verts are actually combined on my reference here. So I'm gonna replicate that here by clicking on this vert, shift clicking on this vert, and press M to merge at last so that these two verts are now one, which is pretty cool. Uh, and now I'm gonna press two on my keyboard, sh uh, just click on this edge, then shift click on this edge. So click and shift click this edge. Then press E to extrude from this region. So now I can see that in my reference here, I'm gonna go to Vert select, click this up. I can see that these are both one. So because this is only a triangle, not a quad. So I'll click on this vert, then shift click on this vert and do M, merge at last. And that's looking great. Gonna go to the side view on both of these. Make sure this is looking good. Gonna move this a little bit down like so. Gee. So you can move that over. It doesn't need to be perfect, perfect. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, and that's looking pretty good. We now have our bangs in place. So I'm gonna move this out a little bit, like so. That's looking pretty nice. Now I'm gonna turn around and try to fill in this right here uh, with, an, with a triangle. <laughs> So I'm gonna to go to edge select by pressing two, click on this edge, shift click on this edge and press F. So F is fill. So if you have like an empty space that you want filled in with a triangle or a face, just click on edge and click another edge. I think you can click up to four edges while doing this and then press F to fill in those edges. So that's looking pretty nice. Now I'm gonna just turn around into this area right here where we can see our jawline and this part of our bang here. So I'm gonna click on this edge and then shift click on this edge and press F to fill those edges in. And we are looking good. So now let's model in the back of her hair here. So as we can see in our reference here, it's kinda just a few spikes. So it's like spike A, spike B, spike C, and this is just mirrored anyway. Well, they're, they're all mirrored, so we really only have to model spike A and half of spike B here. So to do that, all I'm gonna wanna do is click on, so I have this selected, go in edit mode, click on this edge, then press E to extrude, face select by pressing three, E to extrude again, press M, then merge at center. Now we already have one of our spikes very quickly, which is awesome. Um, so I'm gonna go to vert select G, drag this down, I'm gonna move this vert uh, a little bit more in, so G plus Y to move it in, G plus Z to move it up like that, G to move it over, and burr, 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 burr. that's looking pretty good. Doesn't need to be perfect though. So now that I've done that, all I wanna do is model in this third spike. And to do that, this is gonna look a little weird. First of all, I'm gonna go to object mode, click on this and hide it, cause it's super annoying and in our way. <laughs> Then I'm gonna go click on this, go to edit mode, edge select by pressing two. Then I'm gonna extrude from here. Then I'm gonna go to face select, click on this face, extrude 
out from this face, like so. Then I'm going to press M to merge at center again. And this looks a little odd, but then I'm going to go to vert select, click on this. Then I'm going to press N, go to item, and where this uh, you see this X value, click on that and set it to zero. That will just ensure this is on like the perfect center of our model here. So that's fantastic. And we want to do the same here. So click on this vert, X, zero. Click on this vert, G, Y. And it still looks odd because this is like not where it should be. I'm just going to move that down. So these two verts should actually be combined. So I'm going to click on this vert, shift click this vert, M to merge at last. There we go. Look at that. So there are our hair spikes. G plus, why did I move this out a little bit? Kind of just moving this around to taste. Don't feel like you have to follow me exactly here at all. I go to the side view, move this in, move these down. And this is kind of like a reference, but also not really. It is a little different, honestly, because you're not usually going to have these things be one to one with your reference. Just do this up. There's, oh, undo that. You move this in. And now we have the back spikes of our hair in place here. Now, in the next video, we're going to model in the bottom. Congratulations on getting this far. You've already modeled most of Love Chan. Remember to check out the Gumroad version of this course, which is linked in the video description below, and get it today if you want the absolute best value and bang for your buck on it. Please comment below and like the video if you find this series helpful, and subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications and you never miss new content arriving on this channel. It helps a ton. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.